Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sonic Music Releases, the series where I talk about and go over officially released Sonic music from over the years. And today we have this interesting little tidbit from Sonic's past called Sonic Team Power Play Best Songs from Sonic Team, which is a compilation album of some songs from various Sega games, Sonic included. Now you can see on the cover, there's like screenshots and stuff. This was released November 6th, 1998 in Japan. It was published by Marvelous Entertainment and distributed by Pony Canyon. You guys might remember I talked about them in the very first episode where I talked about the Sonic Adventure music. And it retailed for 2,310 Japanese yen or roughly 20, 21 dollars by today's standards. So if we look this thing over on the cover, it's a bunch of screenshots kind of blurred together, some from Sonic are Sonic Jam, Christmas Nights, Normal Nights, Sonic, I think that's another Sonic R one, stuff like that. Taking a look at the back, we see this really cool art of Sonic at a DJ table, um, but you might notice that this is like almost exactly the same thing as that modern Sonic art where he's at the same thing. He's like at the, it's like the same angle and everything. So maybe that art was based off of this, maybe this was based off that. I want to assume that this art came first, but I'm not actually sure. Anyway, the track list is here on the back. I'll put a scan of it up on the screen. We see um, it has songs from Sonic, Sonic CD, Sonic R, uh, Burning Rangers, Nights, and Christmas Nights. So the first, uh, it's uh, Night Song, Dreams, Dreams, and then Christmas Nights, uh, an acapella of that same song. Sonic R, three songs from that, Supersonic Racing, Can You Feel the Sunshine, and Number One. Burning Rangers, we have Burning Hearts, We Are Burning Rangers, and I Just Smile. I don't know anything about Burning Rangers, but those are three songs from there. Sonic CD has Sonic You Can Do Anything and Cosmic Eternity, Believe in Yourself. And right here, bonus track, track 11, Dreams Dreams, Sweet Mix, and Holy Night. However, there is one more track on this, it's just nowhere to be seen. It's, uh, I guess it's a hidden bonus track, but track 12 is Open Your Heart from Sonic Adventure. I had to double check because when I was writing down notes for this, I noted that it had Sonic Adventure, but I didn't see it on the track list. However, when I popped it into the computer, there it is right at the very end, Sonic Adventure Open Your Heart. So yeah, the spine has uh, just some Japanese on it, but the other side has English. That's uh, for releases that have Japanese on the spine, usually the other side will have English. Sometimes not, but I've seen that in a lot of cases. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up, taking a look at the OB. This is, I, I like this, because this is like classic Sega. Like, when back when they were like really fucking cool and edgy and shit. Uh, Welcome back, Sonic family. Sonic Team Power Play, best songs from Sonic Team. Uh, Marvelous Entertainment logo, um, no advertisement or anything, see the retail price at the bottom, uh, barcode, stuff like that. See the back has like that same Sonic art, but now it's like in a white outline style. Opening it up, oh look, the art is there again. Uh, we see the track list and production notes, cool Sonic Team logo with some whatever that Japanese text says. Uh, cool, uh, some pretty cool Knights art, I've never gotten into Knights, but uh, pretty cool I know that they're like one of the like the second most popular Sega fran or Sonic Team franchise uh, right here some cool Sonic R art uh, Burning Rangers didn't get into Burning Rangers either I know that they were featured in uh, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed some really cool Sonic CD art I like this these colors going on around here um, and then Christmas Nights doesn't say anything about open your heart though but it is definitely on the, the soundtrack. But anyway, the disc is actually pretty basic. It has the Sonic Team logo, Sonic Team Presents, Sonic Team Power Play, yada yada. You, I've already said that. For some reason, there's like this white smudge at the top. I don't know if that was like... I want to assume that wasn't on the CD, but it looks it looks printed on there. So maybe... Yeah, it, it looks like it, it was printed on there. There's also this like dot design going on. And this like ring around the, the CD. It's really hard to pick up on camera, but it, it's there. And the tray. Oh, look! Modern Sonic are the only place that shows up. This exact image was actually used on the Sonic R soundtrack as well. And um, one of the vinyl single releases of that game or that soundtrack too. So what does this thing go for? Now, this is actually pretty uncommon. 
You don't really see it too often, and when you do, it's kind of pricey. However, I would price it anywhere from 30 to 75 I know that's quite a jump in between there, that's like $40 difference, but it is a little hard to say, because I don't see it go for sale too often, and um, they can be really expensive or they can be cheap. Like, I got mine for about $20 from Solaris Japan, which I'm actually surprised that they had, and they had complete for that cheap. Of course, I was ecstatic when I when I found that out, but um, yeah, so, oh, you know what? I think on the disc, it does make sense why there's that little circle, because it's like a shine effect. That, that must be what it is. It just looks a little strange when printed on the disc itself. Uh, there is no bootleg of this, so don't worry about running into one of those, thankfully. And yeah, it's just this very interesting piece of history of Sonic Team history, to be more specific, you know, pre-Adventure Day, like right up to the, right up before Adventure launched. Didn't it come out in uh, December in Japan of 1998? So this came out right before that and featured Open Your Heart as a hidden track. I, I, I don't know why it doesn't say it anywhere, but that's a little cool. You don't really see hidden tracks on Sonic soundtracks too often, so... Anyway, that is Sonic Team Power Play. Oh, and uh, forgive my lack of other Sega merch over here. I didn't really have anything, so I just put the, the boxed Tomy Sonic and uh, this radical Sega Saturn pin that I found a while ago. <laughs> Isn't that just the fucking craziest thing? It's like this face. It's like spitting out the Sega logo. It's ridiculous. Anyway, thanks for watching another episode. And I will see you in the next one.